Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live. Today's storytime theme is about, can you guess it? Yes, butterflies. Good job. First book we are reading is called A Book of Colors, Butterfly by Pet Horaxi. Butterfly, butterfly. I love butterfly. I can't wait to see them. Butterfly, butterfly. One day, Lucy saw a beautiful butterfly. She played with it and chased it all around the garden. The next day, Lucy couldn't find the butterfly anywhere. But she did find a pink earthworm wriggling along the ground and a brown spider busy spinning her web. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle and a family of very spotty red ladybugs scurrying around. She saw a snail with an orange shell slithering. Three purple caterpillars munching a leaf. A shimmering blue dragonfly. And a yellow bee with a stripe buzzing about. But Lucy didn't see the butterfly anywhere. She looked and looked. Lucy lay down in the cool grass to wait. Then high in the sky. <gasps> oh, there it was, her colorful, beautiful butterfly. Isn't that beautiful, kids? Look at it. She's flying. So beautiful. I'm pretty sure she was very happy about that, right? The end. That was such a beautiful book, right, guys? Yes, it was. I have another book for you. This one is called Glass Wings, a butterfly story. Let's learn about the butterfly story. This is by Elisa Cleveland. Claire was a glass winged butterfly. Her wings, as clear as windows, let the world shine through. When Claire soared high, she looked sky blue, or puffy white, or rainbow stripe. When she swooped down low to the forest, she seems as fishery green as the ferns. And when she fluttered among the flowers, sleeping nectar, Claire looked like a flower too. I like being flowery best, Claire thought. I love being here with my flowery mother and father and brothers and sister in our bright blooming home. But one day, while Claire was chasing a whisk of meal week, a sudden wind swept her up. Claire, we can see you, her family called. Here I am, said Claire, but she was lost in the swirling clouds. On and on, she tumbled, scared and lonely. Finally, the wind let her go. She floated down to a strange new wall, a city of concrete and corners. I hope I find some flowers here, Claire said hungrily, and I hope that my family will find me. How will anyone find you, as a pigeon? You are almost invisible. Your wings are as gray as the sidewalk, a ladybug added. As plain as the air, say an aunt. 
Are you a ghost? Of course not, said Claire. I make glass wing butterfly. My wings can be any color at all. Look. Claire looked around for a spot of color. Up above, she saw three big ones. Line up in a row. Oh, said the ladybug, you are as red as me now. And now you are as yellow as a taxi, cried the pigeon. And now you are as green as a soda can, the ants claim. Are you a magic butterfly? I wish, said Claire, if I fly right home, but I don't know the way. Stay here with us, the pigeon suggested. No butterflies ever visit, said the ladybug. They just pass overhead on their way somewhere else. Would you like something to eat? asked the ant, offering Claire a tortilla crumb. Thanks, but I only eat nectar, said Claire, from flowers. Flowers? asked the pigeon. What are flowers? asked the ant. I know what flowers are, said the ladybug, flapping her wings. I ate some tasty affix on some flowers just this morning. Follow me, I'll show you. The ladybug led them to an empty lot where a few flowers were growing. They were dusty and scraggy, nothing like the lost flowers back home. But they sway a little in the breeze and offer Claire the nectar. As she drank it, Claire felt more like her old self again. Day after day, Claire fluttered among the flowers, sipping their nectar, carrying their sticky yellow pollen from one plant to the other, helping new flowers to grow. Her new friends helped the flowers too. The ladybug kept them free of pests, and the ants stirred up the soil they grew in. The pigeon scattered their seeds this way and that way. And Claire was happy with everything growing and gathering around her. But at night, she dreamed of her family far away. One morning, the pigeon told Claire, look how many flowers have grown since you have been here with us. Like magic, said the aunt. And look at your young wings, admire the ladybug. Look, look, say a voice in the sky. Clear, look. A family of glass wing was fluttering near. Look at the big patch of color, they cry. Look at the flowery butterfly. She looks just like our. Clear, we have been looking for you. Here I am, say Claire, with my friends. The butterflies wave their wings, they spun and swept through the sky, changing from blue to gold to purple, staring at the night, sparkly as the light city. Bright as a butterfly garden, they all made together each day. The end. That was such a beautiful story, right? You see, she was a glass wing butterfly, but she changes color with everything that she touched. I have one more book for you. This one is called, Are You a Butterfly? Are you guys? Are you a butterfly? No? Yes? This is by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphrey. Are you a butterfly? We are learning so much about butterfly, right? Are you a butterfly? If you are, your parents look like this. You start your life in an egg like this. As soon as you are strong enough, break out of it. You do not look like your mother or father. You are a caterpillar. You have 16 legs and hairy back with tiny breathing holes in it and very small eyes. You have no nose, but you do have a mouth, so eat. Eat whatever you are standing on. Your mother lay your eggs on a delicious leaf. Grip the leaf with your legs to hold it steady, then eat it. Now eat the next leaf. 
eat every leaf you can reach, then move to another bunch of leaves and eat them too. You grow bigger and bigger. Eat more. You feel full. You feel so full you think you are going to birds. You are right. You are going to birds. Before you birds, glue yourself onto a leaf or stand so you won't fall off. Your skin will split all the way down your back. Don't panic. This is normal. Climb out of your old skin. You may have to wriggle around a bit to do this. As you eat and grow, you will have to climb out of your skin too, or three times. One day you will feel funny. It is time to find somewhere safe and glue yourself to it. You are going to make a chrysalis. You may not be able to spell it, but you will be able to do it. You will change while you are in your chrysalis. You will change a lot. You will grow six legs instead of 16, and you will grow large eyes instead of small eyes. You will grow long fillers on your head, and you will grow wings. When you have done all of these things, break out of your chrysalis. Your wings are crumpled. They look terrible. Don't worry. Hang upside down from your chrysalis. And slowly, slowly, your wings will stretch. And the creases will grow and will go away. Use the long feelers on your head to smell flowers. Use your long tongue to drink nectar from the heart of the flowers. Use your wings to fly. However, if you look a little like this, or this, or this, you are not a butterfly. You are not even a caterpillar. You are a human child. You have no wings. You cannot fly. It is most unlikely that you have two long feelers growing out of the top of your head. But you can do a lot of things that butterflies cannot do. You will never have to make a chrysalis and you will never, ever, ever have to eat so much your skin split. Do you know if a human baby grew as fast as a caterpillar, it will weigh about 8 tons when it was only 2 weeks old? There are about 15,000 different kinds of butterflies in the world. The Queen Alexandra butterfly of Papua, New Guinea, is the largest in the world. When its wings are spread out, it measures 11 inches across. Butterfly wings are covered with thousands of tiny, brightly colored scales. Never touch a butterfly wings. They are easily damaged. And if the butterfly cannot fly anymore, it will die. That was a very interesting book, right guys? I have one more book about butterflies. I hope that you are learning because that's the whole idea, listening to the story time and learn something new. Our next and last book is called Legs, Legs, Wings, A Butterfly Life Cycle by Shannon Newsom. The more you know about the butterfly, the better care you're going to take when you see her life, right? A cycle of changes. Butterflies look like flower petals floating in the bees. Butterflies come in thousands of colors, but they all have some things in common. They like all insects. They have three main body parts and six legs. A heart that sucks the lung covers their body. And their wings color comes from tiny scale. Monarch butterflies have both black and orange wings. But monarchs and other butterflies don't start their lives with wings. They start as what? An egg, then a larva, then the chrysalis or pupa, and they become an adult butterfly. I hope that you enjoyed the story time for today. We learned so much about butterfly. We read Less Legs, Wings, a Butterfly Cycle. Are you a butterfly? Glass Wing, a butterfly story. And a butterfly, butterfly, book of colors. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.